A is for axolotl. This little salamander from Mexico is also known as a water monster. If he loses a limb, he can grow a new one to take its place. B is for blobfish, a globby, gooey-looking fish. You can find this blobby fish swimming in the deep sea waters of Australia, New Zealand, and Tasmania. C is for Christmas tree worm. This brightly colored tube-dwelling worm is shaped like a Christmas tree. They use their plumes for feeding and breathing. D is for dugong. This large sea mammal is about the size of a cow and is often called a sea cow. He's like a manatee, but with a forked tail like a shark. He lives in warm, shallow waters and eats only plants. Legend has it that long ago, sailors would often mistake them for mermaids. E is for electric eel. This fish can actually produce up to 600 volts of electricity. It lives in the waters of South America and eats invertebrates, other fish, and even small mammals. F is for flamingo tongue snail. This snail's shell is actually white. The colorful pattern is on the retractable mantle that covers the shell. G is for giant clam. The giant clam is the biggest mollusk in the world. It can easily reach four feet long, weigh 500 pounds, and live over 100 years. It lives in warm, tropical waters and can be found settled for life on a spot of reef. H is for hydra. This kind of freshwater polyp is related to jellyfish. Although the hydra is usually found attached to an underwater leaf or stick, it can use its tentacles to drag or jump to another location. It can also float along on an air bubble. I is for Irrawaddy dolphin. This funny dolphin has a round head. Although it's less active and splashy than most other dolphins, it does have a good trick. It spits water. J is for jellyfish. The first jellyfish appeared around 650 million years ago, even before dinosaurs. Instead of a brain, it has a loose network of nerves. Some jellyfish are bigger than people. Others are super tiny, like a flea. Watch out for them. They sting. K is for koi. Koi are a type of large domestic carp. They are famous because of all their beautiful colors and patterns and are often associated with good luck and wealth. It can learn... K is for koi. Koi are a type of large domestic carp. They are famous because of all their beautiful colors and patterns and are often associated with good luck and wealth. It can learn to recognize the person that feeds it. L is for leafy sea dragon. This amazing fish is related to the seahorse and is only found in Australian waters. Its long nose is actually a mouth that is used to suck up their food. M is for mantis shrimp. This colorful shrimp usually grows 12 inches long. Scientists believe it has the best eyesight in the animal kingdom and can probably see colors that humans can't even imagine. As if that wasn't cool enough, its claws can move so fast that the water around them can boil and even emit tiny flashes of light. This guy is pretty aggressive and likes to smash or spear its prey. Probably not something you want to keep in your aquarium. 
N is for narwhal. This medium-sized whale has a long, straight, spiral ivory tusk that grows through its upper lip. Sometimes they can grow two tusks. A long time ago, people thought their tusks were unicorn horns. O is for octopus. The octopus is an invertebrate that has eight arms with circular sucker pads. These arms can regenerate if lost. This creature comes in a variety of sizes, from tiny to huge, and is a master of disguise. It can change color, texture, and shape to blend into its surroundings. It would much rather hide, but if threatened, it will shoot out ink. Believe it or not, they all are venomous. P is for pufferfish. These funny fish puff up like spiky balloons when in danger. Another way they protect themselves is by being poisonous. Don't eat them. Like koi, they may be able to recognize their caregivers when kept as pets. Q is for queen conch. A large marine mollusk that can grow to about 13 inches and live up to 40 years. They are edible and delicious. They can be found in warm, shallow waters and are identified by their beautiful shells. The snail inside has two tentacles. The larger has eyes and the smaller is used to smell and touch. If you find an empty queen conch shell, put it up to your ear. You might be able to hear the ocean. R is for red-lipped batfish, a strange lumpy fish with big red lips that is found around the Galapagos Islands. It's a bad swimmer, so it walks along the ocean floor on its pectoral fins. S is for sea angel. This very small see-through slug uses little wing-like flaps to swim. It has hidden tentacles that come out of its mouth to grab its prey. Want to know what they eat? Sea butterflies. T is for tiger shark. Young tiger shark have stripes like tigers that fade as they grow older. They are the fourth largest shark in the world, growing up to almost 25 feet. They are curious, with great senses of sight and smell. While everyone is afraid of the great white, this shark also deserves to be feared. A voracious appetite it will eat even when it's not hungry. It has been known to attack people and will eat just about anything, including books, clothes, tires, and other crazy things. U is for urchin. Urchins are the hedgehogs of the sea. They move by using hundreds of tiny tube-like feet and are covered in painful but mostly harmless spikes. V is for vampire squid. This creepy-looking squid is found in warmer ocean waters. It is called a vampire squid because of its velvety dark color, red eyes, and webbing of skin connecting its arms that looks like a cloak. Sounds like Dracula to me. Despite the scary name, it feeds on marine snow or the organic gunk that falls to the ocean floor. W is for whale shark. The awesome whale shark is the largest fish in the sea and can grow to 40 feet and weigh over 60,000 pounds. And though it is a shark, it is a filter feeder that mostly feeds on plankton. This gentle giant likes warm waters and will even let human swimmers catch a ride. X is for X-ray tetra. This small, freshwater fish from South America is called an X-ray fish because its transparent body lets its skeleton show through. Pretty cool. It has excellent hearing and makes a great addition to a fish tank. Y is for Yeti crab. 
This bizarre crab lives on the ocean floor and grows silky blonde hair on most of its body. Scientists think that the bacteria that grows on its hairs might be used as a food source, but they also eat mussels, shrimp, and algae. These hairy creatures don't have eyes and use their hairs as sensors. Z is for zooplankton. Zooplankton are microscopic invertebrate animals tinier than a pinhead that drift or swim weakly in water. Some zooplankton are the larval stages of other animals like jellyfish, squid, and sea stars, pretty much the bottom of the food chain. The End